This is Jim Bruce of Lex Systems. I'm going to show you how to download LexWin library automation software and its freeware, but it enables you to do a remarkable thing, which is to quite rapidly search for cataloging records online. They're called Z3950 records. Now you go to www.lex.sk.ca and click on the Downloads tab and you're going to pick up free LexWin download. I'm not going to bother doing that. You'll download it, save it to your hard drive, run it the standard way you download and run a program. Once you do that, you'll find LexWin off your start menu. Uh, I have it up here, LexWin for Windows. You may have it somewhere else. Search around for it. Okay, we're into the program. Now, it's a standard uh, library automation software piece and you could search in there for the records. Let's do a search for cat. Six records containing the word cat. But that's in our own database. We want to search I for Internet. And in this case, it's set for Library of Congress. I'm going to leave it at that. Libraries to search one. I can search more libraries than that if I want. But usually the Library of Congress will have more than I need. Okay, so I'm going to search for um, ISBN numbers, because that's usually the best way to get unique records that match the edition of the book. So I'm going to type in 08362-18221. That's the ISBN number for the paperback, which I have in hand. I'll click on search. There it is. I'll want to do a little bit of editing in that, so I'll click on it, right mouse button click, edit record. Now I'm in that mark record, and um, it's going to be pretty much what I want, unless you really know you're cataloging, I would suggest you leave it as is, because you've got better ways to spend your time cataloging more books than correcting each one of them. Okay. Now the field we're going to put our holdings in, that's our cataloging number and our barcode, is 901. But we can get there quickly just by hitting the tab key and then putting in our barcode 121222 then. Well, and it's got a call classification, but I'm going to reject that because I know that most libraries put in a prefix called FIC and a cutter, which is three letters of the author's name, which is uh, Waterson, so I'm going to put in WAT, click the X, and that will put it in the 901 field where I'm set now. I've done all my local information, so I click on save. It'll ask me where to save. I could save it into my own a new database that I create, or I could save it into my main database, which is what I'm going to do, and it's called Locfile. Okay, we'll click on Append, and it's done. Now, we'll do one more, uh, just so that I can s search a little bit by title. And I'm going to click on Search again, and I'm still on I for Internet. And instead of ISBN number, I'm going to go Phrase and Titles, and type in Lazy Sunday. It's the Calvin and Hobbes Lazy Sunday book. So search. 18 hits and um, that's why we want to search for ISBN by the way so we don't have to have this problem but it's number 17 there it is. Uh, this time I'll go edit edit record hit my tab key to put in my holdings my barcode let's suppose it's 888888 and uh, again we're not going to use the Dewey Typically, you go to your public library and you look on the fix section, and then you look for the WAT cutter, just as a is a term for the letters that you put at the end of a cataloging record to separate it from other similar books. Okay, that's all I need. Fix what? X, and save. Save it and append it. Now let's go st into our main database, and I'll search for Calvin. And there's our two Calvin and Hobbes, Bill Waterton author books. That's all there is to it.
give me a half an hour and I can probably do 50 books for you. So isn't that a nice way to save yourself cataloging time? If you want to take it to another cataloging software uh, program, just highlight those both records. I'm holding my shift key down. So I got both the records I want. Now I go File, and I go Save Export, and I'm going to save to Mark Format, Machine uh, Readable Cataloging. US Mark Microlift is the most common format that, that uh, vendors like Baker and Taylor provide when they sell you books, is they will sell you, they will provide you Mark Records and US Mark Microlift. And then I put the name of the database I want to, I'm saving it to something called Hobbs.mrc, and I will click on Start. I've already got one there, so if I if if I wanted to uh, save more records to that Hobbs, I would go append to. In my case, I want to overwrite it, and I'm done. Hope you enjoyed this quick view at the system. Replay the video if you like, and pick up out a few more details. Uh, start it off with downloading your Lexwin. That's all there is to it. Thank you.